Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Car Addiction. Today, I'll talk about what to look for when buying a convertible vehicle. First question I actually want to ask you is, do you really want a convertible? Are you ready for a convertible? Are you ready to handle all the other BS comes with driving a convertible vehicle? Let's say I really wanted a convertible and I ended up buying a Mazda Miata. And believe me, Mazda Miata is a fantastic vehicle. Every time I will take it out for a spin, I'll come back and I'll be stuffy. And the reason being, I had pollen allergy. <laughs> so I realized very soon convertible is not for me. And let's say the, the extra wind noise, the extra uh, wind inside the, the compartment, uh, if you're trying to have a good hair day, it's just not gonna happen, buddy. Because the whole concept of convertible is you are more out in the element. If you are okay with all of these, and if you are a spirited driver, let's put it that way, uh, convertible vehicles, uh, unless you are going for a multi-million dollar vehicle with a monocoque carbon body frame, convertible vehicles are generally a little bit more heavier and also it's missing the roof structure. So they are a little bit more flimsy than a regular vehicle. So if you are a spirited driver, you may notice those differences. So again, these are the questions you actually need to answer yourself and then decide, are you going for a convertible? If you are in a warmer climate, having a convertible is really good because you know you can use it every day. Now, if you are in a country like Canada, and if you have a soft top convertible, it's not gonna work. Yes, you can use it, but you know, uh, it, the compartment will take so long to heat up and whatnot. And also, uh, you ideally need to store the vehicle inside because if you let the rain and the salt and everything else uh, get into that fabric day in, day out, the longevity of the fabric goes down significantly to keep that in mind. So in Canada, like my brother's vehicle, uh, BMW 320i, the uh, hardtop, that's a better option to have a hardtop convertible. Having said that, that adds a lot of extra weight on top of the vehicle. Now, when you are looking at a vehicle which has a soft top or a hardtop convertible, make sure you test it out, regardless of the weather, if it's winter, cold, raining, it doesn't matter. Make sure you open it and close it. Now, depending on the model of your vehicle, for argument's sake, let's take this BMW 328i. It takes 19 seconds to open or close. So when you're opening or closing it, time it. If it's too long, if it takes, let's say, 25 seconds, well, uh, maybe one of the motor is uh, going bad. It's not working as efficiently. That's why it's taking longer. It will never be faster than the advertised time because that's how they're designed. So, and the other thing you need to keep an eye or keep and keep your ear is uh, look for any unusual squeaks, rattles, or vibrations because that leads to what it needs to do. And let's say some of the bearing or some of the wire that needs to pull or the winding mechanisms, they are going out. If you are looking at a European vehicle which has a convertible top, Make sure you have one of those high-end scanners, something like that. Because now you can actually scan the body module codes and if there is any hidden codes with the convertible system which will not trigger a check engine light. So it can have maybe five codes or six codes in the body module system which will trigger the check engine light. So it will show, let's say, uh, that micro system, uh, that micro transistor is below voltage or something like that. So these are potential problems that you're gonna face later on. A scanner, a high-end scanner, will be able to pick those up. So you either take it to your trusted mechanic who has a high-end scanner and let them check it for you because uh, you're taking a little bit of extra time and an effort to check that. It's gonna save you a lot of money on the long run. If you are looking at a soft top convertible, please pay a lot of attention on the soft top. Look at all the stitching, especially look at the stitching on top of the door jams or where the fabric folds because a lot of the times those are higher stress points and the stitchings give out. And when they give out, uh, 
There's no really cheap and easy fix when you are repairing a convertible top. Unless, if you don't know what you're doing and you take it to a specialized shop, they will charge you all the money and they usually do. If the convertible top has a plastic back window or a side window, pay very close attention to that. Try to look for small, minute cracks because these cracks over time will end up bigger. And if it's hazy or something like that, make sure you negotiate because uh, depending on the vehicle, it will cost from 200 to 1,000 bucks just to replace the window. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content.